Palyavatarayar went to see Nandini with some excitement. Whatever he hoped for when he left for Kadapur, nothing has been fulfilled so far. He had thought that if he brought the little boy Aditha Kari Kalan to the Kadampur mansion, he could make him behave according to his will by coercion and fear. He believed that he should be bound by what he and Sambhuvaru had to say. He was aware of the danger in immediately crowning Madhurandha to the entire Chola kingdom. The Malay Amman to the north and the Velan of Kajumbalar to the south would be against it. If Kari Galan joins them, the civil war will end. Who can say what the outcome will be? Most of the common people would side with Sundara Chola's sons. Madhurandha's mother is against him. Can we get into a civil war relying only on Kalamukha gangs? Riots will break out in the Pandya country, the Chera country and the countries north of the desert. Therefore, for now, if half the kingdom is divided for Madhurandhagan, and if it is the southern Chola kingdom with Tanjore as its capital, then we can look into it later. Kajumbalar Velan's influence can be solved in one way. Then turn north and have a glimpse of the Thirukovalar mountain range. Kari Galan is just a rogue, and one day he might get into something nefarious and end up dead in Al Payol. If that happens, all worries are over. Better to arrange it as half kingdom for now. Can we get into a civil war relying only on Kalamukha gangs? Riots will break out in the Pandya country, the Chera country, and the countries north of the desert. Therefore, for now, if half the kingdom is divided for Madhurandhagan, and if it is the southern Chola kingdom with Tanjore as its capital, then we can look into it later. Kajumbalar Velan's influence can be solved in one way. Then turn north and have a glimpse of the Thirukovalar mountain range. Kari Galan is just a rogue, and one day he might get into something nefarious and end up dead in Al Payol. If that happens, all worries are over. Better to arrange it as half kingdom for now. Can we get into a civil war relying only on Kalamukha gangs? Riots will break out in the Pandya country, the Chera country, and the countries north of the desert. Therefore, for now, if half the kingdom is divided for Madhurandhagan, and if it is the southern Chola kingdom with Tanjore as its capital, then we can look into it later. Kajumbalar Velan's influence can be solved in one way. Then turn north and have a glimpse of the Thirukovalar mountain range. Kari Galan is just a rogue, and one day he might get into something nefarious and end up dead in Al Payol. If that happens, all worries are over. Better to arrange it as half kingdom for now. Therefore, for now, if half the kingdom is divided for Madhurandhagan, and if it is the southern Chola kingdom with Tanjore as its capital, then we can look into it later. Kajumbalar Velan's influence can be solved in one way. Then turn north and have a glimpse of the Thirukovalar mountain range. Kari Galan is just a rogue, and one day he might get into something nefarious and end up dead in Al Payol. If that happens, all worries are over. Better to arrange it as half kingdom for now. Therefore, for now, if half the kingdom is divided for Madhurandhagan, and if it is the southern Chola kingdom with Tanjore as its capital, then we can look into it later. Kajumbalar Velan's influence can be solved in one way. Then turn north and have a glimpse of the Thirukovalar mountain range. Kari Galan is just a rogue, and one day he might get into something nefarious and end up dead in Al Payol. If that happens, all worries are over. Better to arrange it as half kingdom for now. Kari Galan is just a rogue, and one day he might get into something nefarious and end up dead in Al Payol. If that happens, all worries are over. Better to arrange it as half kingdom for now. Kari Galan is just a rogue, and one day he might get into something nefarious and end up dead in Al Payol. If that happens, all worries are over. Better to arrange it as half kingdom for now. After consulting with the younger queen Nandini, the elder Palyavataraya came to this conclusion and only then came to Kadampur. He also brought Kari Kalan there. But nothing happened as expected. Instead of obeying the elders, Kari Galan was preaching too much by beating the elders. Palyavataraya could not tolerate his sarcasm and double entendres. Especially when Kari Kalan often referred to him as an old man and called the younger Rani his grandmother, they tormented him like sharp poisoned pans. 
Sambhaviryar's course is not so satisfactory. Instead of standing by and trying to suppress Karakalan's excessive preaching, Sambhaviryar mostly kept his mouth shut. Even if he spoke something, he hesitated and spoke in a regular manner. It seems that Karigalan is being careful not to do anything wrong as he has come to his house as a guest. Whatever the reason may be, Sambhaviryar's course is not satisfactory to Kankankudapulvatarayar. Today it is not easy to see how much of Karakalan's speech is true, how much is mockery, and how much is false talk in the mind and on the lips. Who saw that he was planning to do some big mischievous thing after bringing Mad and Hagen there? Is it possible to make Malay Amon invade with a huge army and besiege the Kadampur mansion? Considering all this, it is better to go back to Tanjavur. A small gardener is a good friend. You can also ask him for ideas. Perhaps Mad Hurand Hakan is to be brought here, but Kalante Kakandan can be brought to the shore to gather a large force and keep him ready for any eventuality. In any case, the younger queen should not be allowed to stay up here and be subjected to the taunts of these fools. It is very necessary to take her and leave her in Tanjavur. Will I give it up now that it has a facility? When this had come to an end, the great reaper was somewhat excited. He reached Nandini's abode with a smile on his face. There, as he approached the door, he heard the sound of raucous laughter coming from within. Something about the sound of that laughter irritated him. Nandini never laughed like this in the Tanjavur palace. What's the excitement now? Why is she smiling? Who laughs with her? When he entered, he found out that the person who was with him was Monimi Kalat. This cleared his mind a bit. When she saw him Mani Megali covered her mouth with both hands to suppress her laughter. Even so, she ran away from the room laughing uncontrollably. Nandini's laughter stopped when she saw Palyavatarayar. Her face also attained its usual majesty. Sir! Come on! Is the idea over? She said. Nandini! Why is that girl smiling like that? Why is she running away laughing? Asked the reaper. Do you have to say that? I will. Some of the talks in the hall fell into the ears of Manamekali who was in the next room. Prince Aditha Kari Kalar was joking about patents and grandmothers and she laughed. See. You wretch. Did you laugh with her? Yes, I laughed with her. I was about to cry when she was gone. By then you had arrived. Nandini said and wiped the tears from her eyes. A.G.A. It was my fault that I brought you among these fools. Tomorrow at daybreak we shall leave for Tanjavur. Bear with me only for this night. Said. Do you want to leave for Tanjavur? Why? Has it come to fruition? Asked Nandini. Palyavatarayar informed Nandini about the results of the talk in the Sava Hall that day. After hearing all this, Nandini said, Swami. Go to Tanjavur and I will not come. I do not intend to leave here until I teach Aditha Kari Kalan. One of those proud princes must fall at their feet and apologize for the sarcasm he has spoken. Or fall prey to their knives. She said. Nandini. What are you saying? How did such an adverse thought arise in your heart? Sir. What is an adverse thought? Is it adverse for me to think that if a man slanders the husband who married me by the hand, I should take revenge on him? No, Nandini. Listen to this. Our Pavur clan has been friendly with the Chola clan for six generations. Forgetting all that, can I take up a knife against the clan because an ignorant boy did something? Shall I kill Sundara Chola's son, who is still the crown prince, with my own hand? What is this? Talk. The reaper panicked. At times, when listening to Karakalan's harsh words, Pulavetare himself reached for the sword. Then he struggled to control his mind and hand. As soon as Nandini revealed the thought that appeared in her heart earlier, he became so nervous. Sir. You are friends and relations with the Chola clan for six generations. Therefore it is natural that you hesitate to take up the knife. But I have no such relation. I am in no way indebted to the Chola clan. 
If Adita Kari Kalan does not submit to them and apologize, I will take a knife in my hand and kill him myself. Shall I? said Nandini. Then her eyes turned red, her brows furrowed and her expression changed.